Hi all, I am Shipra Ray working as a QA at MindFed Solutions. Currently, I am learning Selenium, so thought of sharing some knowledge with beginners like me. So let's see, what is automation? Automation testing is used to run repeated tests for an application under test. Here, we check the expected results with the actual results and generate the report. Let me give you an example where automation is required. Suppose there is a new release and bug fixes has been done for one of the module. Here we have to check that the bugs are fixed and also we have to check that the fixes and the new implementation have not introduced any new bug. So, we have to test the current module along with the associated module to verify if the application is working correctly or not. So doing manual testing of the whole application that too in short time period is not possible and is also not effective in terms of company cost, resources, time etc. So this is where automation testings help us. Now we will see why automation is used. Automation testing is used to increase test speed, test efficiency and software quality of the product. It is also used to decrease QA cost and to have greater test coverage. It helps in reducing testing time and automation testing provides a great return on investment. Now we will see what is Selenium. Selenium automates the browser. Now the above line is self explanatory that is we can understand here that Selenium is an automation tool that is used for automated testing the web browsers. Selenium is an open source tool that is used both for functional and regression testing for the web based applications. It was originally developed by ThoughtWorks. Browsers supported. It works with most of the browsers like Mozilla, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Safari and Opera. What all OS are supported? Selenium also works with multiple operating systems like Windows, Linux, Mac. Selenium also supports multiple languages like Java, C Sharp, Ruby, Python, Perl and PHP. Mostly Java is famous as it is platform independent. Another thing here worth to be noted is it is not mandatory to write the Selenium scripts in the language in which the web application is written. It is not language specific. We can choose any of the language to write the Selenium scripts. What all are the components of Selenium? Selenium have four components that are Selenium IDE, Selenium RC, Selenium Web Driver and Selenium Grid. What is Selenium IDE? Selenium IDE is a Firefox plugin used for rapid prototyping of test cases in HTML. It is supported only in Firefox browser. It has a record and playback feature and debugging feature. Selenium IDE allows you to save test as HTML, Java, Ruby script or any other format. Using Selenium IDE we cannot test iPhone or Android applications. Now we will see what is Selenium RC. Selenium RC is also known as Selenium One. It supports fill all browsers like Firefox, IE, Chrome etc. It runs on all browsers except on recent version of Firefox and 
आई इट डजेंट सपोर्ट रेकॉर्ड एंड प्ले बैक फीचर यूजिंग सलेनियम आर सी वी कैन नॉट टेस्ट आई फोन और एंड्रॉयड एप्लीकेशन नाउ यू विल सी वट इज सलेनियम वेब ड्राइवर सलेनियम वेब ड्राइवर वर्कस एन ओल्ड एज वेल एज लेटेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट ऑल ब्राउजर्स इट डजेंट सपोर्ट रेकॉर्ड एंड प्ले बैक फीचर वेब ड्राइवर इज डिजाइन इन अ सिंपलियर एंड मोर कॉन्साइंस प्रोग्रामिंग इंटरफेस अलॉन्ग विद एड्रेसिंग सम लिमिटेशन इन द सेलेनियम आर सी ए पी आई वेब ड्राइवर इज अ कॉम्पैक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड ए पी आई वेन कंपेयर टू सेलेनियम वन इट ड्राइव्स द ब्राउजर मच मोर इफेक्टिवली एंड ओवरकम्स द लिमिटेशन ऑफ सेलेनियम वन विच एफेक्ट अवर फंक्शनल टेस्ट कवरेज लाइक फाइल अपलोड डाउनलोड और पॉपअप फंक्शनैलिटी यूजिंग वेब ड्राइवर वी कैन टेस्ट आई फोन एंड एंड्रॉयड एप्लीकेशन ना वी विल सी अबाउट सेलेनियम ग्रीड इन सेलेनियम ग्रीड पारल टेस्ट आर रन अक्रॉस डिफरेंट ब्राउजर्स एंड ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम वट इज सेलेनियम टू सेलेनियम आर सी एंड सेलेनियम वेब ड्राइवर वॉज मर्ज टू फॉर्म सेलेनियम टू एडवांटेजेस ऑफ सेलेनियम एज वी नो सेलेनियम इज एन ओपन सोर्स टूल देर इज नो लाइसनिंग कॉस्ट फॉर यूजिंग इट इट सपोर्ट्स ऑल ब्राउजर्स लाइक आई फायरफॉक्स फॉक्स गूगल क्रोम एक्सेट्रा इट सपोर्ट्स सेवरल ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम्स लाइक विंडोज मैक लिनक्स इट्स इट सपोर्ट्स ऑल प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस and it also supports mobile device testing disadvantages of selenium selenium doesn't support desktop applications it only support web based applications it requires additional tools or plugins like junit and testng to generate reports selenium id doesn't allow writing conditions and loop statements for testing now we will discuss how we will install and configure eclipse with java we need to follow the below steps that is first we need to install java then eclipse because if we install eclipse and try to open the application then this type of pop up will come which states that java needs to be installed before installing eclipse from this we can know that java is not properly installed first of all uh, we need to download and install java for this we need to click on this link this page will come now click on java click on accept license agreement now check your os and choose the jdk file that correspond to your os and accordingly download it my system is a windows 64 bit so so i, I am clicking on this exe file a pop up will come to ask you to save the file click on save the exe application will get saved in the downloads from downloads you can keep the file in any drive double click on this exe application to install java now we will download eclipse click on this link we will download eclipse ide for java ee developers check your os and accordingly download it when you, when you download the eclipse file it will come in a zip file like this 
like this extract the zip file it will look like this this is the eclipse application double click on it to open the eclipse ide a workspace launcher pop up will come here we need to mention the path where our project will be kept now click on ok the workbench is loading this is the welcome page click on close now on this middle part we write the java code this is the project explorer here we keep our project files and this part is the console part here the output is shown in this video i have covered the installation process and basics of automation testing using selenium in the upcoming videos i will be covering up with the script codes and practical uses of selenium hope beginners in testing would get to learn basics of automation testing in selenium from this thank you